Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. And welcome to a, well, I guess you would call it a day in the life of a... Um, a sim that I've been playing here for a little bit and um, a overview of Kyo Sims base game save which is called Red Falls. Now we are actually at a cafe. This is, um, I believe this is called Cup of Joe's. Um, let me actually just go to the map here real quick before we even go into um, the sim that we've been playing but here's the town. This is uh, Willow Brook, Willow Creek. Why do I keep calling it Willow Brook? But this is Willow Creek, and she has uh, several lots here that we can just quickly go over. Um, this is where we're at currently. I believe this is called Cup of Joe's. It's not going to tell me. Um, but this is the plaza. It's a retail shop, a bunch of stores over here. Um, this is a restaurant called Maple's Kitchen. Uh, there's a gym, and I believe this is spa yeah it's a spa and there's the vets and this is the park which is really really pretty so i'll definitely have to take you over there so you can check that out there's a few houses over here and a mom and pop grocery store which is owned by mom and pop over here um where are they at they're right here okay so and then of course we've got some open plots um this is a fixer upper which i thought about moving into that fixer upper um, to make things a little more interesting for myself, but I decided to move over here because I just love this neighborhood. Anytime I move into Willow Creek, I always move into this neighborhood for some reason, but it's habits, old habits die hard. You guys, you have to excuse me, but that's just the way it goes. Anyway, so we've got a rich actress. Well, I don't know if she's an actress or not, but this is Mrs. Bates. She lives over here with her butler. I have not introduce myself to Mrs. Bates. She seems to be a little bit of a recluse. Um, well, her um, lot trade is private dwelling. She does not come out. I have not seen her out and about. Um, and so it makes me think that she definitely does not want to be bothered considering that you can't visit her house. I guess you could, but she doesn't want anyone there. I've never really actually tried to visit a house that has private dwelling as their as a lot trait um this is the harper family they have the really two cute little girls twin girls and um i'm fairly good friends with the harpers or grace is fairly good friends or nia is fairly good friends with the, um the harpers as well as the masons uh who she's um, actually visiting the coffee shop with now um and we'll get back in the game so you guys can but this is where the masons live over here they've got a son and a daughter and a bundle on the way um and we'll like i said get into that discussion a little in just a little bit here but this is basically a quick overview of the um of the world this is a base game save so if that's all you have in the game this will be a perfect start for you um, it is a very family oriented town so if you are a simmer who enjoys family stories um, this would be the perfect base game save for you um, now she has left lots open for you to do to do with as you please the commercial lot that's for sale over here that's why this is left unfinished and then, of course, there are um, plenty of empty homes. I did not move any Sims in. I usually take off the automatic Sims moving in, whatever that's called. I take that option out because I like to move Sims in as I play the game. But with Nia, I kind of just wanted her to play as a single Sim. I did not want to um, go into relationships or anything like that. So I just left the um, game save as is. Besides, I wanted you guys to see the game save in its most base, um, the in its most base um, iteration, because this is what you look at when you, this is what it'll be when you log in, except for obviously, um, the idea that, um, I guess, are we best friends? I don't know. Um, let me just check and see what our 
relationship is with Kayla. I think we're best friends with her, but you can see over here that she's pregnant. She's very pregnant. Um, I think she's in her second trimester. Um, yeah, she's about to burst. Let me just see. Okay. We're fairly good friends with her. She's a stay at home mom. And if I remember correctly, May, uh, Andrew Mason is also a stay at home dad. Um, they're very, very into making, they're into their children. Their family is important. And they, it seems like they've got, I've never really asked them about why they're both at home. Um, I'm sure they have enough money to make that happen. Oh, you have to excuse the rugs. These, this is an override that I have in my game. So this obviously is not, this is a base game rug with an override. So obviously this, these rugs will not be in here. This rug will be here, but not with these swatches. So, um, I meant to take my mods folder out, but I did not. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, which is why Kayla is pregnant because I have MC Command Center and I believe that's what Sims, yeah, because my Sims just randomly show up pregnant in my other LPs or other games. So anyways, so I'm down here, or Nia Grace, uh, she's a single Sim. She's been in um, Red Falls for a while here and uh, she is a businesswoman. She's a genius. Um, and she loves a sleepy bedroom town, which is what this neighborhood portrays. And she's just sitting here enjoying all the, all the interactions around her. She is a goofball. She's also a nerd because she's a, she's so smart. Um, she's kind of a conservative dresser as well. Uh, this is about as risque as it gets for her. So she, Red Falls suits her perfectly. Um, not a lot of drama goes on here. Um, lots of families, everyone kind of minds their own business. Um, and you know, they come and congregate here and just chill out. So you can see everybody's here. Oh, this is, um, Sonia. She's also friends with Sonia. I believe, I think we're pretty good friends with Sonia as well. So, um, actually I'm going to have her sit down and have a chit chat with Sonia. Okay. Sonia decided that she was not going to sit down. Okay. Well, fine. Then don't, don't talk to us. Okay. So everybody's over here playing the computers. I like this idea. I love having coffee shops with, um, places that you can put your laptop down and things like that. Remember back in the day in the Sims 2, where you can carry your laptop with you. I think you can do that in the Sims 3 as well. You can put your laptop in your inventory and just take it with you wherever. This is disgusting. <laughs> like notice how gross this is like come on man this is totally un in unsanitary like someone's gonna get sick you're dealing with dairy and you've got flies and funk it's just gross it's disgusting but yeah this is the cutest little um coffee shop here but if it suits the neighborhood very very well this is what the neighborhood looks like at night it's truly a vibe if you're like i said if you're into family gameplay this is the, the safe for you. All right. So we are going to leave. Um, yeah, we're not going to finish our coffee. Uh, we're going to go home. I'm going to show you her house and, um, we're not going to travel with all you guys. And I will be back in just a moment. Once we're at home, do you guys notice that I did not start in the house? I'm proud of myself. I actually did not start in the house, but this is the house that um, I chose for Nia Grace. Um, now, this house did not come furnished, and Nia Grace is kind of poor. As you can see, we only have 326 simoleons. Uh, we did do a few things to the house gradually. Um, whatever I can't remember how much this lot cost, but um, we didn't have much. So we've gradually just added things here and there. And um, so the house is still fairly empty. Um, we did get a few things up here. Uh, the bedroom here, the bathroom. Um, this room is still empty, the hallway. So there's not a lot going on in the house. Um, and I actually like that. I like that I was able to find an unfurnished home um, 
that I could decorate to my heart's content and basically start with nothing because that's a little more realistic than, well, not a little more. It, I mean, yeah, it's a little more realistic because if you're going to buy, this is probably a $250,000 house in some areas, 350000 in some areas upwards to five hundred k depending on where you live. I know that sounds ridiculous, but, um, you know, just moving in, if you're going to buy a house like this in real life, you have a little bit of furniture, even if you're putting sheets on the windows. Yes. Some people still put sheets in the windows when they don't have the money to buy curtains. That's just real life guys. So this is real life for Nia. She is just starting off, uh, in her career. I believe we are at assistant manager in our, um, in the business career, so we don't have a lot of money. We were, we saved a few nickels and dimes, but, um, yeah, so I'm just going to let her go to bed. We saved a few nickels and dimes and, you know, we do need a lot more work going on or a lot more work here. Oh, who is this? Why is he here? Dude, do you not? Okay. Um, why is he here? He just sh showed up at the house at 11 o'clock at night. Why? That's odd. Um, we're going to answer the door, but we're going to ask him why he's here. Like, dude, what are you doing here? What? It's a little late. Um, is everything okay? Is Kayla fine? Yeah, Kayla's fine. I just, I needed to vent and you are the only one that I know that is awake. He saw her light on, so he came by. Very inappropriate, let me just say, but um, why is he here to vent? Let's find out. What's what's going on? Um. Okay, so the reason why he must be venting is they already have a fairly large family. They have two teenage kids, a boy and a girl, and now they're pregnant with their third child, and they're basically starting over because their two kids are in high school. They're almost out of high school, and so I'm sure he's freaking out because he he was looking forward to having the house to themselves so they can probably, you know, enjoy marriage life again, as not single parents or uh, childless parents are not really childless. They'll never be childless, but as they like they used to, he just really walked in the house and cleaned out a refrigerator. I don't know if I should be, um, offended by that <laughs> or thankful because just, just walk in my house and okay. So he, he just made himself quite at home. Started watching my TV, my little humble little TV. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of interesting that he just showed up at the house at, um, almost midnight and it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I wonder what Kayla's thinking. She's probably freaking out if she, if she's still awake, but, um, yeah, the drama ensues, I guess. I don't know. I don't look for it. People, this is not that kind of channel. I do not look for it. Stuff like this just happens and I have to go with it. But um, yeah, so this is just a quick overview of what's going on. And um, yeah, we've got Mason here. I kind of want to follow this and see uh, what 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 uh, what we're doing here. Why is he here? Uh, we don't have any type of romantic interests. Okay, we're just really good friends with him. Actually, we're better friends with him than we are with Kayla. But um, how do we not... Okay, whatever. Um, we're really good friends with that. I guess I never really asked him about his interests. I just know that he's a stay-at-home dad. He's so emotional, which I, I like. Look at him. He's crying watching this movie. I like a, a guy that has no fear of crying. You know, there's nothing wrong with, with with showing your emotions every now and then. We can't all be walking around like Stepford wives and husbands with no emotional feelings. All right. So, yeah, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of Red Falls. Um, I, like I said, this is a really, really cool save for those of you who, um, are into family, but you know what? Let's visit the park. I want you guys to see this, um, before we finish the, uh, the, the review, I guess. I don't know if this is a review. I'm not really reviewing it because, um, 
I don't think I can. I mean, I've never really played a someone else's save file. And um, this would be like, you know, my first official time doing that. And um, I don't know really how you would review it. But um, I enjoyed it so far. I think um, I think what if I continue to play as Nia Grace, I may eventually add in a couple single um, male sims in the game and see how that plays out. Because um, I, I know she does want to stay single for a while because she wants to focus on her career. And she's at a point in her life, though, too, where she's not really sure what she wants to do. She's a little too smart to be in the field that she's in, or at least currently what she's doing as an assistant manager. She's extremely tele- intelligent, but she's also looking for her soulmate. So um, she's at her at a like kind of a crossroads as far as like if she wants to focus on her career or if she wants to um settle down in in not settle down but start dating um i know her friends like kayla uh, kayla mostly is pressuring her to at least try to start a family um with the sim of her dreams what do you have on girl I am not judging you because I know we all have our own style, but if you guys, I'm about to really date myself here, but if you've ever watched Punky Brewster, <laughs> she she's giving me Punky Brewster. This is Eliza. Eliza, you guys. Uh, Eliza, you need to go home. Go find um, your husband. Where's your husband at? Wait a minute. It is three o'clock in the morning. What are you doing out at three o'clock in the morning? Walk in the streets. Where's your husband? Where is Bob? And he lets you out the house like that. She obviously has no friends. She obviously doesn't. All right. So we are going to go ahead and I'm going to wake her up. Um, is me, is Andrew still, he is still down here. Okay. We're going to ask him to leave because it's about time you go. It really is. All right, we're going to hop in the shower. Uh, yeah, let's shower upstairs because we didn't have the money at the time to buy a shower. Um, we're going to hop in the shower. And um, I don't think she has to go to work today. She does. She has work today in six hours. All right. Um, I'm going to have her run to the park really quick so you guys can see that up close and personal. And, um, and then we're going to go ahead and end it there. But I'm going to go ahead and have her rush through the shirt. Yeah, you really should get going and you're welcome. But do do not show up at our house at almost midnight. That's ridiculous. Um, who is this? Kiana. Okay. All right. So let us head over to Le Park. And uh, we're gonna actually let's bring um, Sonia and Morgan. I guess they're awake. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're awake. Okay, so we're at the park. Sonia and Morgan did not, or Sonia did not show up here with Morgan. I mean, it is super early, and I didn't think they would, but I just thought I'd try anyways. But look how cute this park is. Now, of course, it's fall, um, as you can tell, but this just has a cool vibe to it in the fall. It just reminds me, I mean, this is the perfect time because it is fall officially. And even though in some places it doesn't feel like it, but the trees are starting and I love how the trees are turning red here. These are like, oh, my favorite time of year. But can't you just imagine like an apple orchard and going apple picking and buying apple donuts? I mean, that's the thing from where I'm from is um, apple cider donuts. And um, of course, fresh apple cider. I'm very Midwestern, if you can't tell by the uh, accent. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is like a thing for us. Pumpkins. Um, and Oh, look. This is so cool. I mean, she's just that at home in this town where she can just lay down and just watch the stars or watch the sunrise. That's the kind of vibe I get from this town. Just really relaxed, really laid back. I mean, it's really quiet. Look, no one's no one's out. It's just and the leaves are falling. It's just a full on vibe. I love it. I absolutely love it. And here, over here, we've got some easels that you can paint on a little 
um, sitting area where there's a pond and you can play chess over here and the kids can play um, on the monkey bars and the play set and parents can sit and watch them play. Very, very cool. And of course, this is an area where you can probably have some, well, I guess you can have a, not, not a party, not a full on party, but these are the bathrooms. But I guess if you wanted to, you could have like a little small birthday party here, but this would be just ideal to have outside a birthday party outside here. But yeah, really cool vibe. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today on this amazing save. I wanted you guys to have a look at it. And um, Keo did actually uh, upload a updated version of this file on her channel. So if you would like to take a look at that, I'll make sure I'll link it in the cards as well as the description box below. Definitely go check it out. And if you're not a subscriber on her channel, Give her a, a subscribe and a shout out. Tell her I sent you. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you. Now, if you're not a member of my family, why not? We'd love for you to be a part of the family reunion. And all you need to do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I try to upload at least three times a week, a lot of times more than that. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Ciao.